Welcome back. We're getting plenty of first this season, and it's another today with Bristol Rovers visiting Pride Park for a league contest for the first time. Derby going into the weekend, five points off the playoffs. The Rams have two games in hand on some of the teams above them, including the top four. Victory for Bristol Rovers today will see them go above Derby and likely break into the top half of the table too. First time, side foot, bottom corner. Brilliant start from the Rams. Here's the press, Mendes Lang gets to that press first. What a pass to McGoldrick, and at that point, he knew there was enough pace. The weight of the pass was absolute perfection. Let's it come across his body and finishes perfectly, nonchalantly into that far corner. And what a way to start against one of the informed teams in Bristol Rovers. Smith combines with Mendes Lang and was taken down after the play, Corey Smith. Low cost from Mendes Lang, it's Collins onto it. And his hard work going to start in on the corner. There's a great ball from Mendes Lang into Collins, wonderful first touch, took it in his stride, but it just goes away from him. Mendes Lang finds that ball into Collins, there's the first touch outside of the boot. It just had that tiny bit of weight that it didn't need. It's a yard or so shorter, he's getting a shot off at goal. There's another little concern with Smith being down, can't afford many more players injured, he got a whack there, clearly felt it. Isn't that the truth? Derby's injury list growing. Smith looks to be OK. In by Harahan. Roberts with the header! And it's turned in by Guess Who? Back in the side and back among the goals. It's James Collins for the Rams. Was what the team deserved because we started this game so well. Crystal Rovers at six and sevens. Great ball into the box. It was about that first contact. And Roberts gets up early, beats his marker. Nods it back towards the goal, and who's there but James Collins, striker's instinct. Here's the ball again, corner towards oh, the front post, Roberts gets the head, nobody's marking. James Kelly, uh, Collins, the art of being in the right place at the right time, comes off Coburn, who's picking him up. Towards that far post. It's him who's alive and he taps it home from, what, a yard away. Brilliant start. We need to keep this up. That's a foul on Mendes Lang. And the Derby players surrounding the referee and asking immediately if there should be further action there. Well, hopefully so, because if Gordon's got a book in, after 20 minutes, and Mendes Lang is in this type of mood. Looks like a, he's going to get a yellow card. It'll be a long afternoon for the fullback now because Mendes Lang, every time he gets the ball, clever little flick, gets ahead of him. It is a booking all day long. You go to ground and you're that late, there's no way in the world he's going to get anywhere near the ball, it had already gone past the full-back. Oh, Harahan waits to deliver this free kick. I'll be already two goals to the good. It's in by Harahan, it's toward cash it. Now it's McGoldrick! 
What a start for Derby this afternoon. Three goals in the opening 23 minutes. And David McGoldrick has helped himself to a second. It's another glorious goal for David McGoldrick again. It was Mendes Lang that was the bravest on the edge of the box. We talk about second phase from set pieces, from balls into the box. We watch it back here. The first ball, they just about get clear. Mendes Lang, brave, wins that challenge. And then McGoldrick does the rest, turns, uses his body, and then strikes it wonderfully into the roof of the neck. It's about that moment there. Are you brave enough to make the challenge? Are you aggressive enough? You are, McGoldrick. Then gets in a position where he can turn. This time the Derby have scored three at home in the league since the victory over Hull back in February. Arahan wins another tackle and goes in strongly with Finlay. Referee says too strongly. And the referee will have a word with Conor Harahan as well and show him the yellow card. Well, he's been a different player this afternoon, Harahan. He seems to be relishing that kind of fight in there. Uh, just to say, that's his fifth of the season, so he will be suspended for the trip to Morka on Tuesday. Wins that first one, goes for the second. I think both went in from different angles, both with the legs out in front of him. I think you can understand that booking if maybe the midfielder of Bristol Rovers didn't go in in the same way. Again, I want to make a point that he's been completely different at times when we've had two centre midfielders. We haven't maybe competed as well as we should have done this season out of possession, but it seems to be a real kind of taking on board of what the manager wants. Aggressive all over the pitch, on the front foot all over the pitch. There's the free kick, it's back across goal. The goal trick off the line, but it's Cameron in on the follow-up. And it's Bobby Thomas, the central defender, who gets the visitors back in the game. What a shame. 3 0 up. Looking comfortable, creating chances. The couple of times they've got into our box, Bristol Rovers from set pieces. We haven't dealt with it well enough. Towards that back post again. Don't win the first, don't win the second. Can't clear our lines off the line. It's Dobbin who's picking up Thomas. One of the big centre-halves at the back post, who ends up scoring the goal. Seems like a, a mixed match in terms of heights towards that far post. Surely you've got to have someone out there that can deal with that far post cross. Be a case of just riding this half out now at 3-1, still in a really positive, comfortable position. What we can't do is let them get back in with another goal. Thomas went down far too easily. Here's McGoldrick. And there's the hat-trick. A clinical first-half performance from David McGoldrick. Wonderful. What a finish. It starts with the press. It starts with the hard work to get the ball back. And at that point, he just steps into the box. He had a couple of options. He obviously could see sight of that far post. It's whether or not he could deliver. Again, pressing. Doesn't let the defender out. Stays on his feet. Collins and Harahan, both in wonderful positions to score. David McGoldrick had no other thought of going for goal. Pressing, wins the ball back, head up, sees the runs, finds the far corner. And you make it 4-1. What a first half dis display. Everything that the fans, the manager, the staff, they got involved with the football club wanted. We got from Collins. He's found Coburn. Well, Derby's having a giving away penalties, comes back again. I'm not sure Sean Barker on side agrees with the decision. 
I'd have to see it again, but I thought it was a ridiculous decision at the start. Now it's a penalty. He stuck a leg out. I thought he caught the ball. I thought he got the ball first, and it came off the Bristol Rovers striker. We've been guilty of this, sticking a leg out. And unfortunately, it's a penalty. And with Dan Evans standing over the ball here, it gives them a glimmer of hope if they can score this penalty. Joe Whitesmith is taking his time. Anthony Evans with the chance to get Bristol Rovers back within two goals. What a first half it's been already. Straight down the middle. It's 4-2. What a first half. We've been brilliant for the majority of the first half, but so disappointing to concede a second goal. That gap of three is huge, and it just gives them a lift before half-time comes to an end. Good penalty from Evans, straight down the middle. Lex Wildsmith go to ground. onto it, I expect him to finish first time, brilliant defending you have to say, he turns his back and gets across to mate Dobbin, hit the back of his shirt, no doubt that we should have got another goal there, great pressure from Max Bird in the middle of the pitch to step onto that ball and play in McGoldrick and I fully fancied him taking that opportunity and getting his fourth of the game. Powerhand takes toward Cashin. Collins. Back in by Howrahan. Chance for Bird! It was an opportunity, Sean. Another opportunity. Have a little ball in from Howrahan. The second invitation just drops into that area. Always difficult for goalkeepers. It's not a foul for me, he's coming over the top of the Derby player. They want so much protection, goalkeepers, he's screaming at the referee. They might drop for Collins, it's a tricky one. Would have been special. Again, that ball over the top is causing the defenders all sorts of problems. Great ball from Wildsmith. Doesn't half strike it well, does he? Out of his hands, little spin back over the top. Look at the defender stretching. Collins knows that it's difficult for the defender to bring down. He's always lurking. And you can see the tactic from Joey Vartenstein now. They're just a full up here. And this is Sinclair running at Corey Smith. Still Sinclair. Clawed away by Wild Smith. Brilliant save from the goalkeeper. He's had nothing to do in the second half. Sinclair, we know his qualities, he'll come inside the pitch, direct, right at the heart of the defence. There's a good block from Craig Forsyth. Never really did enough to clear our lines. Bozzi who ends up getting a little bit of a block, but that deflection takes it away from the goalkeeper. Now Smith. knew what he was doing. Big moment here. Set piece delivery could go into the box. Last thing you want to do is give them a sniff from these situations where we've kept them at bay for the la large majority of the second half. And by Evans, he's tried to catch out Wild Smith. And it wasn't on target. That was close. Worried for a moment there. Yeah, it was. Really clever from Evans. Look at Wildsmith trying to organise. Complete disguise and he whips it towards that front post. 
Phil Wildsmith would have been confident he would have covered it, but you can see why he went for it. Maybe it'll get better. Third to Onasula. Wasn't quite tall enough. I think the game management in the second 45 minutes has been excellent. They've been compact, we've kept our shape, we've stepped them playing. When they have played, it's often had to go back and round and through. There is the full-time whistle, and Paul Warren has his first Pride Park victory as Derby County head coach. The headline is that the Rams have won, McGoldrick has his first career hat-trick, and Derby have three points to go with it.